At any serious fire, the Red Cross is never far behind first responders. But volunteers say they're starting off 2017 on the wrong track with a big increase in house fires statewide. Our Chris Gothner talked to volunteers today and joins us with more, Chris. Yeah, Leah, well, the Red Cross says it's trying to reduce fire-related injuries and deaths, but the number of fires so far in 2017 is outpacing last year's totals. That's worrying volunteers. It was something just like so quick. Rosalind Britton has been spending her new year trying to get back on her feet after a fire displaced her family late last month. At that moment, survival mode was in. Four of her kids and her dad were inside at the time, but luckily everybody made it out alive. I was like, okay, everything in the home is gone. It's scary, but at the same time, um, we got out safe. Rosalind has been living in a hotel since the fire, and the Madison woman credits volunteers with the American Red Cross with helping her return to a sense of normalcy. The next day, uh, I got the, I got a phone call, received this phone call, and she was like, hey, Rosalind, we want to come out and see what you and your family need. This year, we have seen a 50% increase of fires compared to last year at the same time. Here in Wisconsin, that means Red Cross volunteers are having to help more people like Rosalind, and the organization is feeling the strain. The American Red Cross is run by 95% volunteers, so we are definitely looking for more volunteers, especially in our rural areas. It's also looking for more donations to get help to those who need it. The need is the strongest right now. Rosalind Britton, who knows that need firsthand, is joining the Red Cross and urging folks to help. Because, as she says... Anything can happen at any given time. Rosalind says she hopes to be back in her home in four to six months, and she credits being prepared for helping her escape that fire. She had a smoke detector and had her kids practice their escape routes. If you want to donate to the Red Cross, you can visit our website. We'll have that later for you on our website, a link to help donate. Red Cross always helping other people would be nice to help Absolutely, out and get those smoke detectors. I mean, pre prevention is key. All right, our Chris Gothner reporting tonight. Thanks, Chris. Thanks.